Hello everyone, today we will discuss hematology instruments. Starting with improved new bath chamber. This is improved new bath chamber which is thick glass light and it is having RBC and WBC counting squares. So it is used for counting of RBCs and WBCs. Next is WBC pipette. You can see here this is WBC pipette. It has, it consists of a capillary tube. This is a capillary tube, this one, this part and which consists of a stem part which is widened into a bulb. This is a bulb and this bulb has got a bead. This bead in WBC pipette that is white in color. So you can easily differentiate. Okay? And it has a marking of 0, 0.5, 1 and 11. Okay? What is the use of WBC pipette? It is used to dilute blood with the WBC diluting fluid when we perform the practical WBC count, total WBC count. Now, next is your RBC pipette. Here again, this is RBC pipette. It is also having a capillary tube. Here you can see it has a stem and it has also a bulb. But the bulb is quite wide, wider in RBC pipette and it has red bead inside. So you can differentiate RBC pipette from WBC pipette because it has a wide bulb and it has red bead. Now, what are the markings on RBC pipette? They are 0, 0.5, sorry here 0.5, 1 and 101. Okay? Use of RBC pipette is also the same to dilute the blood with RBC diluting fluid. Next instrument that is hemoglobin pipette. This hemoglobin pipette, it has capillary, it has a capillary tube but there is no bulb. You can see just a capillary here. Okay. And it has only one marking. The marking is of 20 microliter. Okay. And this is what is the use of hemoglobin pipette? That is to take blood when we are performing uh, hemoglobin estimation by Sahli's acid hematin method. Next is hemocytometer. Hemocytometer, if this picture is given in your spotting, you have to write down hemocytometer, not the hemoglobinometer. Hemoglobinometer is different, we will discuss later on, but here this is hemocytometer. Hemocytometer contains your improved Nubas chamber. You can see here, this is improved Nubas chamber. It has got RBC and WBC pipettes. Okay? Now, next is hemoglobin tube. There is this is also known as square tube because it is square in shape. Okay, you can see here. This is a square tube. Okay. Now this hemoglobin.